Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm here at the Patch Office in Spencer today and my voice was kind of feeling a little froggy right there at the beginning. The allergies are going, but I'm better now. I'm fine with the allergies because you know what that means? Spring is coming. Yes! Warm sunny days. Yes! Okay, well, Usually, I have a book that I read with you, or I have some type of a story that I read with you. Today, I do not have that book, but we are going to have, we're going to do some stuff, okay? We're just going to talk about the number three today. And I have some storybooks with numbers in them, yes, that I could have brought, yes, but I really want to concentrate on the numbers and I'm going to try to do all of the numbers or at least maybe the numbers uh, 1 through 10 maybe we can go a little farther but I want to concentrate on those numbers okay so I'm going to try to go through all the numbers with you and we're going to really really look at that number and today we're going to concentrate on the number 3 okay and you look here it says all about the number 3 well a good way to learn to write the numbers is by having little writing rhymes that go with them. And we use these quite frequently at Building Blocks. Now, for the writing rhyme for the number three, it is around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. And that's an easy way to kind of remember how to make your numbers. Okay, so let's do that and take your finger. I'm gonna trace it again. Around the tree and around the tree that's the way to make a three. Now, I would like for you to do this activity with me, okay? I probably should have said that to begin with. So you're gonna need some paper for this activity and your either crayons or markers, okay? And I think I'm gonna use my markers to start off with, all right? So, first thing I want you to do is I want you to find either your, let's get my other papers out of the way. Find your red marker or your red crayon, whatever one you want to use, and we're going to make the number three. And again, if you want to practice it first, around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Then you're going to get your red crayon or your red marker or your red color pencil, doesn't matter, whatever one you have on hand, and we're going to make a three together. You ready? Around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. All right, now I want you to get your blue one out. Get your blue, whatever you're using. Now let's make a three again. And we'll say it to ourselves. And like I said, this kind of really helps you learn to make the numbers if you just say this rhyme over to yourself or you can say it out loud. Around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Kind of makes it easier writing the numbers, doesn't it? All right, next let's do the color purple. Now this time I'm just gonna say it to myself. So you guys practice saying it to yourself when you make your three, okay? There, you guys did it. I know you can do this, you're so smart. All right, next let's get out the green one. Find your green crayon or marker or pencil, whatever you're using. Remember, around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. And then I want you to get out next color. Let's use yellow, okay? Now say it to yourself. Don't say it out loud this time. Let's say it to ourselves. Good job. You see how easy this is? It's just like you're, you're going to go on a walk. Get your orange crayon out, sorry. We're just going on a walk. Around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. All right, now that's all the colors I had out. But if you have a big box of crayons, use every color in the box. Or if you have a whole box full of markers, use all of the colors. You're just getting the writing practice for the number three, okay? All right, so let's move on to the next page. Okay, the next page we're gonna concentrate on is called a 10 frame. Does anybody know what a 10 frame is? Well, it's something they use a lot of time in math. It is an, a rectangle with 10 equally sized boxes. 
you have one, two, three, four, five on the top, and you have one, two, three, four, five on the bottom, okay? And you remember that fancy math word that I use a lot of time when I'm using dice? You're learning to subitize. We're learning to just be able to look at it and know that's the number six. Well, you can get a lot of practice with that using this 10 frame. You know, you've got five on the top and five on the bottom, okay? And you just fill it in with either um, little counters that you have or you can draw something in them. And for this particular activity, we are going, I think we're going to draw stars, okay? And remember what number we're working on? We're working on the number three. So I'm going to use my blue marker and we're going to make three stars, okay? Do -do 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 -do. There's one star and you can color it in if you want, okay? Now we need another one, one, two, okay? We got two and then one more, three. Okay, so we have three stars in our 10 frame. And just by looking at that, we're learning to subitize again, right? I know, boom, three, whoop, whoop. I don't have to count them, one, two, three. I can know by looking at them that that's three, okay? All right, now let's move on to the next one. The next one's going to be tally marks, okay? And that's another way of grouping numbers, learning how to count, and another way of subitizing, to be honest with you, because you can look at it and you know that's three. And tally marks, they like to group things by five, okay? So for this one, I think I'm going to use my red marker. I'm gonna make red tally marks. And what number are we counting to? Remember, we want the number three. Let's put the three up here in the corner. Okay, now let's make three tally marks. Real simple, straight lines down. Ready? One, two, three. Three tally marks. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yes, and we can know just by looking at it. Boom, how many's there? Three, you're right. You guys are so smart. Smart, smart kids. And the last thing we've got is we're going to work on counting skills, okay? And it says, what comes before and after the number three? And then after we do that, then we're going to count on from the number three, and then we're going to count back from the number three. So we're going to go forwards and backwards, okay? Now for that, you need something called a number line. And what that is, is just a line, and there are equally spaced spaces in between the numbers to help you be able to count. Now, I just went on to my computer, you can have a grown up do that for you, and I just Googled free counting lines, and it popped up all these different ones that you could print off. But do you have to do that? No, you can get a piece of paper and make your own counting line, okay? Let me take one of my pieces of paper, let's put that off to the side, let's use my tally mark paper. I'll turn it over, okay? So we would just make our line, Make you a line, do 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 Whew, well that's kind of semi a straight line, right? <laughs> okay, and then you would just write the numbers on yourself. Zero, one, two, my numbers are getting bigger as I go, guys. <laughs> and I messed my counting line up there. Zero, one, two, that was supposed to be a straight line down. Don't pay any attention to me. Three, four, five, six, so you see where I'm going with this? Seven, now that I've got all my ducks in the row going the right way. Eight, nine, so you would just go that way up to 20. You wanna go zero to 20, all right? So you can print one off or make your own. I like the idea of making your own. Okay, now back to counting skills. So the first thing we have to do, it asks us the question, what comes before and after the number three? Okay.
Okay, well, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the number three on our line, right? Okay, so where's our number three? Is that the number three? No, that's not the number three. Where's the three? Remember, around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three. And it's just a single digit number. That's kind of close, but that has a one with it. That's a two digit number, and that's 13. We're looking for plain three. Do, 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 do. You tell me where to stop. Stop, you guys, you're so smart. You're right, right there's the number three. Okay, so what number comes before the three? So let's hop forward, do, 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 or we're actually going back, backwards to know what comes before it. Okay, what number is that? The number two, you're right. So right there where it says what number comes before the three, it's the number two, okay? Now then, let's find our three again. Now they wanna know what number comes after three. So we've found our three again. What comes after it? You're right, the number four. So we'll just put a number four up here at the top. And for our number two, I should have told you that one. That one's half a heart will never do slide to the right to make a two. And for the number four, it's down across and down some more. That's the way to make a four. But we'll get on that later on, because like I said, we're gonna concentrate on each number, okay? So we know that the number two comes before the number three, and we know the number four comes after the number three. And now our last thing we have to do, it says count on and then back from three. So first we're gonna count forward. So we're gonna find our number three, and our particular number line goes up to the number 20. So we're gonna to count to 20. You ready? We're gonna count on from three. So we have three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you can do it, 18, 19, 20. Good job, so we counted forwards from three. Now we have to count backwards. All right, so let's find our number three again. There's our three, now we're gonna count backwards. So three, two, one, zero. Good job, you guys are so smart. You did a great job with that. So all through this math activity, we worked on counting skills, what was before, what was after, counting forwards, counting backwards. We learned how to make some tally marks of ignore my number line back there, <laughs> okay? And then we were concentrating on the 10 frame, learning to know just by looking at that, this helps us group objects no more than 10, because we just have the 10 squares, right? Right, I know that's three. Then we had the writing rhyme, which is, get my little pointer out here, around the tree and around the tree. That's the way to make a three, all right? And that was all about the number three. And I hope some of these things, boys and girls, help you at home to learn to be able to write your numbers and grouping objects and learning to just to look at it and know that was three. Lots of important skills we worked on there today. I hope it helps you out. Now on with the game, right? Okay, our game is going to be called a roll and graph dice game. Now I just, I, I created this on my, um, on my computer, on my Word, my uh, Microsoft Word program. And you just needed to make, now, do you have to do it on your computer? No, you can make your own. What you want to do is you want to draw a box, and we want to have six, when we go this way, we're going to have six columns. So we're going down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six columns, and then we're going to have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we want six rows and six columns. Why do we want six, you ask? Well, because we're going to use the dice and it happens to have six sides, right? 
Right. Okay. Now, but for starters, our project's not ready to go yet, okay? Because if you notice, I don't have the numbers there, one through six. So how do we know where to put to put our put our numbers, right? Right, we have to draw them on there. Okay, so let me get my black marker out. Number one. We start off with a number one, and that's just one dot. And we're going to kind of make our box right there look like the dice. Okay, then we need the number two. We're going to have two dots. One, two. All right, then we need three dots. Okay, one, two, three. Going the same direction. Okay. Then we need the number what? The number four. Let's find the four and see what it looks like. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll make those a little bigger where we can see them, huh? Okay, what comes after four? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we need the number five. One, two, three, four, five. And our last number's what? You're right, it's the number six. You guys are so smart. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we know by looking at those, we have the numbers one through six, okay? Now you need a box of crayons out for this project. And you can decide what color you want. You want one color for each number, okay? So I'm just going to pick six colors out here at random. There's a brown, uh, like a dark pink, and ooh, there's a light green, and maybe a purple, and oh, one of the, let's see what this one is. This one says it's a uh, molten lava. Ooh. It's interesting how they come up with names of crayons, isn't it? It is. And then the blue one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I've got my six colors. So now you're going to roll the dice, or roll the die. It's just one. I always get that confused. Okay, what number did I get? I got the number four. So you're going to decide what color is the number four going to be. I think I'm going to use this molten lava so I can see what color it is. And you're going to color in the square for the number four. Oh, what color is that? It's the kind of shade of orange, isn't it? Kind of like an orange with a little bit of red mixed in. Okay, next, let's give it a roll again. Do, 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 Roll, roll, roll. Oh, I got the number one this time. I think I'm going to make the number one blue. So you see where I'm going with this? You just roll the die, and then you're gonna color in the box of the number that you get, and you continue on with this activity until one of them makes it all the way to the top, and you're gonna see which number will win. Let me do just maybe one or two more with you. Oh, I got a number one again. So I get my blue crayon out, and I color another box blue. I'd like to be able to roll a number three, considering we were talking about the number three today, huh? All right, one more. Let's see. Come on, number three. Come on, number three. You can do it. Eh, I got a number two. Oh, let's see. I think I'm going to make the number two brown. Okay? So you just continue on till you, which one makes it all the way to the top. All right, see which one will win. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you had a lot of fun learning about the number three and how to make the number three. And I hope you join me next time, boys and girls, and we'll work with another number. See you later, alligator. Mwah.